Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This came to my door a few days ago. So this is a beautiful range of products from Fenty Beauty. Here I have some foundations and the new concealers and hopefully one of these shades will match me. And then down here, are some more complexion products to use in conjunction with the concealer and foundation and stuff. So I wanted to do a video just showcasing the new range and especially the concealers. Never actually tried the foundation, so this will be all new experience for me and I'm very excited. Okay, so I was sent four shades of the foundation and four shades of the concealer. Now the actual name is the Pro Filter Soft Matte long wear foundation and the pro filter instant retouch concealer the foundation already exists in 50 shades you guys know like that's incredible for any brand and the concealer is also coming out in 50 shades and what i love about it is that it's the corresponding number so like let's say you are shade 120 in the foundation then you will be the shade 120 in the concealer so there's really no guesswork involved also kudos to fenty for sending me like the correct PR package because I'm sure they have PR packages like in different shade nuances. You guys will not believe how many times I've gotten foundations that are just like 10 shades too dark for me. And I'm like, do you even look at my videos? This is kind of how I shade match is I go all the way down my neck and like on my face. So this one is I think actually too light for me. This one might work. So this is the shade 120. This one looks like it could be a closer match. So you can see how this one is kind of like sort of disappearing. I mean, my face is always lighter than my neck. So what you want to do is just drag it like all the way down. You could even do your chest, but like I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. The next one up that I have here is 140. A little bit too yellow for me. This one is 170. Oh, that's actually not bad. I'm surprised. I thought this one would be way too dark. This one is definitely more pink toned, which is more my shade. Okay, so I'm just using this little, this little compact mirror was in there too. I love this, it's like a honeycomb shape. I love this. I feel like this one is too pink and this one is too yellowish. This one is definitely too light, like this looks white on me. I think this is probably the best shade for me right here. Okay, so I have just shade matched myself, so I am the shade 120. There is a foundation brush that comes with it. It is synthetic. It is kind of this beige pink shade. I actually do own the Fenty primer and for the life of me, I could not find it. So I'm actually just using this one by Smashbox. It's the, the primerizer. There are some makeup sponges in here as well. There was this larger one, which has a really interesting shape, like it's rounded, but then this part is flat and then this side is cut off as well. So there's like two flat edges and then they have these smaller ones or two different shapes actually. So these are not the same shape. One has this like stamping tool on the end and then this like cut off piece and then this one is that little point which is going to be great for doing concealer first of all just dab that and then blend a bit i always like to do foundation with a brush like a wet brush synthetic brush and then i at the end kind of buff it in with the sponge because i feel like that way it's not soaking up a ton of product applying very smoothly actually but what I also noticed is that it kind of dries a little bit quickly so I would say is work in small areas I'm not sure of how I'm loving this brush though I felt I feel like it's a little bit small it's a very small brush I feel like this would be actually a good concealer brush I prefer like a bigger brush like this one actually a NYX foundation brush you can see it's like more rounded on the top this one is kind of more oval like there isn't really a whole lot of surface to the Fenty one. It's it's good for like precision. So let me just switch over to my like normal or just like a brush that I use a bit more frequently. Then what I like to do is just grab the sponge and then just kind of pat it in, like go over it. Uh, this is foundation is definitely more on the matte side. Actually, if Fenty were to release some more like glowy, maybe more like sheer tone coverage. I would be very, very curious about that as well because 
I generally don't like these kind of matte foundations on myself anymore. I have discovered more lighter foundations and more like skin-like texture. I mean, this one doesn't look totally super dry and gross and like ultra matte. I'm gonna be honest with you and say that this is just not a foundation that I would personally go for just because I just don't like matte finishes on me, but that is not the fault of Fenty. Like if, I think if you're in the market for a totally matte foundation. I definitely think this is one of the nicer sort of matte foundations I have tried. It feels super light, that's the thing. Now that I have it on, I it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel mask-like, it doesn't feel like cakey or something. Maybe I'll try this again and like try and sheer it out with maybe like a luminizer or something. I think that would work. Very curious to see if Fenty will be releasing more different types of foundations in the future. I'm sure they will be as the, grant, as the brand grows and gets more successful. Let's go ahead and do the concealer. So I'm using the same shade, the 120, lip gloss type of applicator. So you've got the little doe foot, but the doe foot is very flat and like straight. Like it's not as thick as like the Tarte Shape Tape. I find the Tarte Shape Tape is just a little bit too big for me, the applicator. So I like the fact that this is smaller and just see how that goes. Cause I'm just using now the exact corresponding color. I'm using the 120 and then I'm gonna go in with this little mini sponge and use this one to blend it out. And let's see, the sponge is really, really soft. I have to say like holding the sponge, it feels silky. It feels softer than the um, beauty blender or something like that. Also in that press package, there were two of these translucent powders. The packaging of these is just so beautiful. I love these. How much powder do you actually get in here? This is 28 grams of powder. Holy smokes, that is so much product, 28 grams versus the Makeup Forever, which I actually really like and I tend to go for, and this only has 8.5 grams. Oh my God. <laughs> so you get 20 more grams with the Fenty one than you do with the Makeup Forever. Two different shades. This one is called Butter, which has a slight, ever so slight yellowish tinge to it. And this one, Lavender, is self-explanatory. It has a slight lavender tinge. And I think lavender is supposed to help against like sallowness. It feels, oh my God, it feels gorgeous. It feels super light. Before I start setting, I wanted to see, cause I do have like a little bit of blemishes here. I'm gonna use a little bit of this concealer over my blemish. I have some acne that's healing there. I mean, it's kind of, it's over, but it's just taking a while to heal because stupid Julia picked at it. I'm going to use the um, butter powder. This is also using the Fenty 170 setting brush. Pop off the excess. It is a very, very fine powder underneath my eyes. Probably you shouldn't mix, but I'm going to try the lavender powder as well. I mean, it's only like, barely lavender the rest of my face because I mean it's sheer so it is very matte now that I've set it also with powder I just personally do not like matte foundations but that is just kind of irrelevant now I'm trying to look at it objectively like if I were into matte foundations if I were like yes this is the finish I'm going for I think it looks fairly good. You know, it's not like seeping into any lines. The color match is really good on me. I don't love the concealer for like covering my blemish. Like as you can see, it's kind of like, I didn't really work to cover the blemish at all. It like concealed it, but now the concealer is gone. That's kind of very strange. The concealer that I would normally use is like the full cover one by Makeup Forever and I've already powdered it. So this is not really the best idea. And just, let me just put that back on because I don't feel like the Fenty one really covered that. This is like my go-to concealer for covering blemishes. I just put on a little bit of blush. I used this one by Kiko, the Dreaming Coral. This was sent to me over the holidays sometime, and this is the Rose on Ice Fairy Balm Shimmer Powder. 120 Highlight Brush, this is also by Fenty. Dab a little bit of this on. Holy smokes, that is beautiful. I was wrong, this can be used as a highlighter on me. Oh my God, are you guys seeing this? That is so gorgeous. Um, wow, beautiful. Maybe a little bit darker than I would like for a highlighter, but I kind of like it just layering it over that blush. It has the same like sifter system. I would love it if th this came in like one shade lighter. I don't normally go for matte foundations, but now that this is on, like it, does look nice, like I like it. I didn't put any um, finishing like spray on it. I'm not wearing bronzer. And also the highlighter, I really love that. I think it looks really beautiful with that blush that I have on. And on my lips, I'm using the Fenty 
gloss balm and just the gloss. It is 3.40 right now, actually, 3.40 p.m. And I'm going to wear this like for the rest of the day and into the evening. Then I will check in with you guys at the end of today. So far, I really like it. And I, I think what I like the most about this foundation is how light it feels. And also, so far, it hasn't cracked or it hasn't seeped into any lines like at all. I have some fine lines here on my forehead. Whatever foundation, if it's like a not very good foundation or like a cheap foundation or something, um, it'll settle into those lines like right away and it hasn't done that at all. Let me know in the comments what you guys think so far. So I will check on you guys a little bit later. Okay, so I am just about ready to take off my makeup. It is 10 p.m. right now. You'll just have to trust me because I left my phone in the other room. So yeah, it's 10 p.m. So I've had this on for about six and a half, almost seven hours. I did one powder, like I powdered my face once, maybe three hours, in, three or four hours into it. I did one quick powder with that translucent powder. Overall, I think it, it looks okay. It has worn off a little bit, like here around my nose. I can see that it's worn off quite a bit. Also here along the chin line, it doesn't look so great. Um, I think it's because, you know, I had that first the, the Fenty concealer on and then that didn't really work. So I put the other concealer and I'd already powdered before. So it just wasn't the right um, layering. So that doesn't look that great. It has settled a little bit into the, the corners of my nose here. What it hasn't settled into is any of my other like fine lines that I have, you know, up here or um, along my eyes. It's also worn off a little bit along my mouth. So it does feel really nice on the skin. Like I said, it just feels really nice and light and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a heavy layer. But I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed with this wear. I mean, it's okay, but it's nothing like, you know, totally knocks my socks off as far as wear time goes. But when I did have it on and when I put it on fresh in like the first few hours, it looked really, really nice. In daylight, I actually went outside my house with a mirror to look at it and it looked really nice. So I'm kind of torn on this foundation. Also, as far as the concealer goes, the concealer actually held up really well. I don't really notice any like crazy creasing. Like, yes, there is a little bit of wear. If I'm just doing a little finger test, like it, it's not coming off too much. I remember when I tried um, that foundation by Huda Beauty, like if I was just going like this at the end of the day, it was just melting right off. So just to sum up, I did really enjoy the powder. I think you get an amazing amount of product in here. I also really loved the highlighter. I love the sponges. I will definitely continue to use those. Um, I think the concealer is pretty nice. The foundation I wish had a little bit better wear time. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can also subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications so that YouTube will notify you whenever I upload. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!